Fiastic updates causing trouble. Who would have thought it, guys? So, this is really important. This latest update, and it might have been this update for you guys. It might have been the last update for you guys. Or it might be the next update for you guys. But it's very important. We pay attention to what I'm about to say about the latest update and the settings it has turned back on again. So... As always, if you can, before we get started, do check out the channel. Do remember to hit subscribe. We're closing in on 360,000, depending on when you're watching this video. And we bring you everything Fire Stick related. So, as you all know, on the Fire Stick, we have many settings we have to turn off. It's really important we turn them off to stop Amazon tracking us, data mining us, data mining us, using our data, should we say. They don't really data mine. Selling our data, tracking our data, seeing what we are doing, and Damn right, just making the experience dreadful. And on my latest update, mine have all turned back on again. And I'm going to show you how this works. So, it's up to you guys. I know we've had differences on whether you update or not. I'm a big believer on updating because of um, security risks and everything like that. But some things are still a pain when you do update. Some updates are forced upon you. You might not be able to block them. They might be forced upon you already. So to check for updates, obviously settings... My Fire TV about, I've got an update ready, okay? This happened on my downstairs Fire Stick. Um, I've got two or three in the house, and I guarantee it's going to happen on this one as well. So I'm going to install the update. We're going to get it installed. So what happens is it will reboot. We'll have an update go through. And what happens is those settings we turned off a few months ago, and I remind you of quite regularly, have all turned back on again. So if this happens to you, do let me know in the comments, because I'm not sure if it happens to everybody. But it's 100% happened to me, and this isn't right. So, let's get back on the Fire Stick. So, back to our Fire Stick. What's happened now, we've relaunched. You need to go to your settings, okay? Straight over to settings. All of you check this, even if you haven't updated. It's very important, because some of you may have never done this. You go to preferences, and there's some settings in here. It's very important you turn off, okay? The first one, just for annoyance purposes, is featured content. Turn these off, okay? This is the advert on the main screen. This stops it loading out a video, really loud sound, really playing video, now it's just a slider. Not such a big problem. Notification settings, all stayed the same, brilliant. Data monitoring, big one. Monitor data consumption on your Amazon Fire TV stick, 4K max. This has been turned back on again. We want this off. I do, this is personal opinions, but I don't want them datering, monitoring any data I do at any point, okay? Privacy settings, device usage data. Use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes. Off. No, thank you. Collect app usage data. So they want to collect data about the apps you are using. Uh, no, thanks. Off. Interest-based ads, I turn it off anyway, it's up to you, ads are ads. But I'm not interested in them tracking what I do to advertise me about what I'm talking about or what I'm looking at or anything like that. These are very important that we turn these off. Um, I think they're all very important. Feature content is just an annoying one, okay? Feature content is this advert up the top here. This advert would normally play a video, now it doesn't. And for those who moan about the adverts on a Fire Stick, that's why they block the updates. If you turn that off, then it's just a little slider. You don't even have to look at it. You can just find your apps, okay? The rest of them in there have stayed the same, but these ones seem to have turned back on again. What I'm going to do over the next couple of days is look online because we have lots of settings regarding deleting voice recordings, everything like that. So if you're interested in that sort of stuff, do remember to hit the subscribe button. Everything else I've checked, um, we've got the usual ones in applications, um, I turn off things like um, App Store. I turn off automatic updates. They seem to be the same still. Um, notifications are off. Game Circle, Game Sync, I turn these off. But if you want to turn them off and you haven't already, it may be worth looking at for you. Um, everything else, Amazon Photos, um, Allow Guest Connections is normally off, so that's turned back on again. So I'll turn that one off. Okay, check through the settings you've done. I've done a big video on it, um, probably, let's have a little look, about, where are we? So about, where are we? Can't be that long ago. Did 
Delete these settings now. 805,000 views. Okay, so I'm going to link that video underneath as well because it may go into a bit more detail if you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, this one was more of a refresher because we need to make sure these settings are turned off. It's really important for your Fire Stick, so we're going to make sure um, it's turned off for you because mine will turn back on again. It's only when I was having a little flick through earlier doing a video about something else and recording for later in the week, I noticed they were turned back on again. And then on this one, which I hadn't updated, they weren't. And again, voila, when we done the update, they were back on again. So, before we leave, guys, if you can, as always, do remember to hit subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to stay safe on your devices and stay up to date. If you are interested, a quick word from one of our partners, IP Vanish VPN, we will link underneath. It's a great VPN for your security. And that's a lot of what we do here. So we're staying safe online. It includes ransomware and malware protection. You've got IP Vanish, easy online safety, powerful internet privacy, simplified data protection, all in one app, which you can install directly on your Fire Stick. If you want it on a Fire Stick, it's really easy. It's as simple as in your store, go to find, search, type in IP Vanish. It'll be underneath there for you. Boom, install it. Mine's all there already. I've got a little, well, I haven't got it on this latest one, but I can download it because I own it. Boom, instantly. This is the new one I did for the demonstration so I could prove to you the update, but it's all there for you easily. And it's very, very cheap for you to use, guys, okay? You can use it on unlimited devices. Who wouldn't want that on unlimited devices? $3.75 a month, that's about £2.50 for us in the UK. Um, I don't know all the conversion rates. You wouldn't notice that out your bank every month. It's about a price of a coffee. Do this, it also helps support the channel, plus it keeps you safe online, whether it's your Fire Stick, your mobile phone, your PC, unlimited devices. Also underneath, I've linked my social media, so we've got my Twitter, my Facebook, my other YouTube channels, um, Instagram, TikTok, everywhere. We're everywhere online, so do come and follow us and help support us. Appreciate that. The main thing we want to do here, though, is keep you safe and keep your Fire Stick doing the right thing. So keeping it safe, keeping those settings correct, and keeping everything else safe online. Brilliant. I've been Doc Swiffy. Do remember to hit that subscribe button. I will see you very, very soon. Have a good weekend. Thanks for watching.